Okay guys, this is Pesh from More Cars and in today's episode we're going to delve into the 2024 Lamborghini Urus. Despite the Urus's limited changes, 2024 looks to be an important milestone for Lambo's SUV with the debut of the Ferrari Pro Sangue. And as you remember, we have had a video special dedicated to Ferrari Pro Sangue, so as a kind of comparison, you can go over there and see that episode as well. The feud between Enzo Ferrari and Ferrari Lamborghini was epic and we hope the battle between the super SUVs and utility cars will be as just as contentious as it was in the back time. But before we dive into the intricacies of the 2024 Lamborghini Euros, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss our exclusive automotive updates. The Urus is Lamborghini's second SUV following the Rambo Lambo LM002, but it's not exactly a purebred Italian. It rides on the same platform as other elegant beasts of Burton such as the Audi Q7, Q8, Porsche Cayenne, and the Bentley and Taiga. Even the 657 horsepower twin turbo V8 is made in Germany before getting shipped to Santa Gata, Bolognese, where the Urus is assembled. An upcoming hybrid powertrain will double down on the Urus' saddle of electronics, from its 8-speed automatic transmission to its torsion center differential and torque vectoring rear diff. The Urus is the most advanced mechanical bull around. The Lamborghini doesn't change much for the 2024 Urus, but CEO Stefan Winkelmann did confirm that the high-performance SUV will get a hybrid powertrain, either replacing or complementing the current 657 horsepower twin turbo V8 engine. We expect the hybrid Urus to arrive for the 2025 model year. Sure, we would save about 32 by opting for the standard issue Urus S, but that means we'll also miss out on maximum performance. That's why we want the Performante, which features a lower suspension with firmer steel springs, myriad of weight reduction measures, and more. We would opt for the larger 23-inch wheels too, wrapped in racetrack-ready Pirelli P0 Trofeo R rubber. Again, the mission is maximum performance. As stated earlier, the Urus is powered by a 657 horsepower twin turbocharged 4 liter V8, which the Urus's engine burbles deeply when idling and absolutely howls on the full throttle. Permanent all-wheel drive and an 8-speed automatic transmission conspire with all that power to enable fantastic acceleration. Now testing, the Urus went from rocketed to 60 miles per hour in 3.1 seconds and tore up the quarter mile in 11.3 seconds at 121 miles per hour. Likewise, Lamborghini estimates a top speed of 190 miles per hour. That's a lot. The Urus feels athletic from behind the wheel too. With quick steering and stable high-speed cornering, with the air spring at all four corners, the Urus has adjustable ride heights based on its various driving modes. Standard carbon ceramic brakes ensure that the Urus stops as well as it goes, breaking from 70 miles per hour to a stop in just 149 feet. For drivers who want an even racier Urus, the new Performante model is the answer. It sits 0.8 inch lower and is claimed 204 pounds lighter than the standard version. It's available with 23 inch wheels and super sticky Pirelli P0 Trofeo R tires. Plus, the Performante alone has a steel spearing suspension and a different sound differential that sends more torque rearward than normal. The Ultra Urus also introduces a new rally drive mode that's intended for unpaved surfaces. We tried it during the prototype drive of the 23 Urus Performante, which was a lot of fun, but we doubt many owners will actually thrash their six-figure SUV on gravel-covered off-road courses. If taken to the racetrack, we're happy to report that the Performante's Myrod upgrades pay off by providing a snappier powertrain, more steering feedback, and a firmer ride. Plus, it proved to be 0.1 seconds quicker to 60 miles per hour in our testing. Inside, occupants are treated to a dramatic cabin that's classic Lambo. Jet fighter design cues abound, with the start button hiding beneath a red flip cover and the shifter looking like a jet's throttle. To the left of the shifter are levers that control the drive modes in a low customizable performance setting. There's plenty of fast weight and carbon fiber trim, while the infotainment system and reconfigurable gauges are straight out of an Audi. The back seat has good passenger space and can fit between two and three people, depending on which seat configuration is selected. Interior cubby storage is highlighted by useful door packages and a bin behind the floating center stack. The Urus also offers up to 22 cubic feet in its cargo area, but that drops by 2 cubes with optional rear bucket seats. Every Urus is packed with the latest connectivity and infotainment features. Along with the fully digital gauge cluster, there are two touchscreens built into the center stack that include controls for the climate system, audio, and more. The screens have crisp graphics and large icons, but they are not as intuitive as traditional knobs and buttons. So the last question is, is the Urus a good value? Most in this small group of SUVs that cost a quarter of a million, prioritize luxury, and the Urus is currently the only one that also delivers a supercar-like experience. However, we have Ferrari Pro Sangue as a serious contender in this category. Like the others, the Urus offers an exceptional array of exterior and interior customization choices, and the resulting interior materials from leather to fabrics 
and they are all gorgeous. The Urus True Success is driving experience that is far more engaging and delightful than it needs to be. This is a shockingly good vehicle to drive quickly on a mountain road, and it's undeniably trustful, and barking exhaust provide endless entertainment for the driver and all occupants. So this is it guys, concise and precise, thank you for joining us through this journey of 2024 Lamborghini Urus. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more exclusive automotive content, and leave a comment below sharing your thoughts, mainly between the Lamborghini Urus and Ferrari Sangue. Stay tuned.